Hey everybody, what's going on? It's me, Truck Driver Sean. Today, I'm coming at you with a pedal that is called the Shapeshifter. All right, that is by Eris Effects. Yes, mate. All right, badass stuff. All right, so uh, this video is gonna be a little long. So for those of you who don't like an episode that's sort of like a fucking 30 minute infomercial, just fast forward the part you want to see, but basically this pedal came to me like it did to a lot of people because I got a lot of messages about this pedal being a piece of shit. Before your panties get in a bunch, calm your fucking tits. This is not a piece of shit. What happened was, is uh, everybody has a different sound and what they consider the middle of the road. So whenever you order something from Aris FX, Richard sets the inside trim pots to what he thinks is pretty much where his clientele is going to find their medium road, right? And this was made for a guy from a band called Fit for an Optopsy who tunes to Donkey Fart with his guitar, but wants his guitar to sound good. So instead of just tuning his guitar up and using the regular size strings, he hooks this up to it. Yeah, that fucking happened. So as you can see, we'll put everything in the middle here so we can see all the super fancy nabs, the chicken head nabs. All right, as you can see, you get your frequency, you get your width, and you get your plus and negative to how you want those to behave. On the inside, you have three trim pods, or four trim pods. You have one for your overall power, which is set to almost clip itself out when it comes, this one came anyway, which I think is the same problem a lot of other people have. And I'm gonna show you how, in the next part of the video, how to go in and change those inside parameters. I'm gonna open this up, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Why? Because Richard's fucking funny. I love that guy. I know everybody's like, ah, oh, you shit on Richard. No, I don't shit on Richard. I just think there's an easier way to do things, but I love the fact that he makes you work for your tone. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't tell you what these fucking pedals do. He'll just say, it's an overdrive or it, it's, it's a shapeshifter. What the fuck is a shapeshifter? I mean, if you're into comics, you know what a shapeshifter is, but what the fuck does that have to do with a guitar? <laughs> Doesn't explain shit. It's like, it looks cool. Either buy it or don't. I don't give a fuck. That's pretty much Richard in a nutshell. So, I don't usually open these up and show what they do on the inside because I usually set and forget my stuff because I don't like opening up and closing the backs of these constantly. So, what I'm going to do with this, because I plugged it in, and it sounded like absolute shit. It just did. I uh, love Aeris Effects, but this was set horribly for what I do. I also tune to drop D or standard E, sometimes a half step down. Unless I'm using a seven string, then I'm in B standard or drop A. So I'm not your typical, you know, low tuned person. I tune kind of high. You know, like your mom. All right, so let's plug into this thing and uh, tear it open, fuck with it a little bit. And uh, I'm not going to come back on screen, so you're not going to see my fat head anymore. So go check this out, man. Aeris Effects Shapeshifter. It is a fantastic pedal, and I'm going to show you how to take a pedal you probably got in the mail if you got one and was like, this thing fucking sucks. I'm going to show you how to take and fix that problem just by opening up the goddamn case, which, by the way, I cannot say this enough times in this video. Richard leaves Easter eggs all over his shit. Like, seriously. Tons of Easter eggs. He gives you a lot for your money. So open up your enclosure. Take a look inside. I think almost every single pedal I have has some kind of trim pod in it. What do they do? Half the time, they're not even fucking labeled. You just turn it and see what it does. <laughs> Everybody, it, it's just another, another tool to use to make it so you can, you know, hone in your tone. Because at the end of the day, you can always say, I want to get a Metallica tone, or I want to get a Meshuggah tone. But really, at the end of the day, you should be trying to get your own sound. Sound like you. All right? At the end of the day, you're the one playing. Not James Hetfield. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. I want to wake up and be Willie from Lamb of God. Then I realize I'm a fat piece of shit, and I can never chug like that. So I just be myself. You know what I'm saying? All right. Very cool. Thank you all for tuning in and uh, 
Enjoy the next part of the video because I've never really done something like this before, so it's fuckery and shenanigans at best. Enjoy. Subscribe, motherfuckers. All right. Later. Keep music evil. Free metal to the children. Don't be a dick. And check out Eris Effects. Later. Okay, everybody. So let's uh, let's take a look at this for what it is. Uh, this is the Shapeshifter by Eris Effects. Uh, pretty pretty easy stuff. You got you know your frequency, you got your width, and all that happy horse shit. You get your plus minus on how intense of that it's going to be, right? So this pedal, I'm only showing this because I get a lot of comments from people. So if you're somebody who actually understands Aeros Effects pedals, uh, whatever you take to calm your tits before I get started on this, please take it. Because trust me, I'm going somewhere good with this. I'm not shitting on Aeros Effects. I love Aeros Effects. I have a ton of Aeros Effects. Even though sometimes I'm a little tough on Richard, but you know what? It's people being tough on him that makes it so he keeps shooting to, to have better stuff, you know? Nothing but respect for the man. So this pedal right here, I've had five people reach out to me and go, this is the shittiest pedal I've ever spent money on. And I was like, man, I haven't even had a chance to try it yet. So here I am today and I plug it in. This is what I get. All right, we can all agree that sounds like shit. <laughs> okay. That is probably the worst sounding shit of all time, right? And uh, that's straight out of the box. So here's a little secret about people. If you don't know about Aeris Effects, you got your first Aeris Effects pedal and you're feeling all cool about yourself because you finally got a pedal that looks badass. That everybody says is so damn cool. You get it and that's what happens to you. And you're like, oh my God, everything's on 50%. And it sounds so shitty that no matter which way I go, it ain't going to sound good. But you're right. No matter which way you go on those knobs, it's not going to sound good. So you open up the back of it and you're going to get this really cool thing called trim pods. And almost every single pedal I have by Aeris Effects, there are trim pods. All right. So let's get this on here nice and handy dandy. Get you a good look on the inside of my Aeris Effects. Uh, shapeshifter, as you can tell, even on the board, it says shape a shifter, but Aeris Apex. So what we have right here is your overall output. Okay. That's going to control like how powerful this pedal is. This right here is for your frequency. And then you have your two widths right here. So what we're going to do is, just because I am I own a lot of Aeros FX pedals, I can tell you right now, this pedal is just pushing way too much. So the output is probably just needs some adjustment. Here's the thing about Aeros FX. All the way cranked doesn't mean all the way cranked. All the way turned back does not mean turned all the way back. It's, his trim pots are odd turn it. When you find your sweet spot, stick with it. So let's find my sweet spot.
Sorry about the audio, I didn't want to take the vocal mic off. So as you can tell by just turning those trim pots, it's infinitely better. So let's get this thing turned back around and let's turn some knobs. Let's make this thing, uh, let's dial this bitch in, all right? Here we go, let's get this spun around. You spin me right round, spin me right round, like a rock, baby, right round, right round. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a rock, baby, right round, right round. All right, so I'm going to turn the vocal mic off, just turn some knobs, all right? We're going to start with it off, and then we'll uh, turn it off.
So as you can tell, with just minimal turning and getting that thing up, the the amp is ridiculously different now. So I'm going to put it back with the pedal off and then pedal back. All right, so there we go. That is the Aris Effects Shape Shifter. Uh, like I said, if you got it in the mail and you didn't like it, please, before you start talking shit about the pedal, open it up, play around with the trim pots. Trust me, you can do pretty much anything you want with this, whether you're playing a six string, a seven string, eight string, a baritone, probably even a nine string. You can really make this thing tailored to what you want to do. I'm in drop D, so I obviously don't need to have it set as aggressive as some other folks would need to. But again, that's the beauty of it. You can turn it back to what works good for you. All right. So thank you very much for tuning in and checking out this. And for all the Aeris Effects people that have been so kind to me in my posts and stuff, I just want to thank you, especially for having patience with something like this where you have to kind of say something shitty and show how to work around. I'm doing that for the folks that aren't super fans of Aeris that just get a pedal and they're like, oh, this is absolute shit. What are these guys talking about? Open it up. There's always a gift for Richard in there. Somewhere or another, there's a gift inside that box. I don't think I've ever really opened up one where there wasn't. There's always something in there. The dude is sneaky as shit. And uh, he prides himself on making extremely good gear. Top notch, top quality. Things are put together really well. The graphics are always the best in the game. I don't give a fuck who you are, where you're coming from. His his artwork on his pedals is bar none better than almost anybody else's. And uh, yeah, I don't think there's any more of these pedals left. I don't know if he's going to do another run. But if you happen to get one of these and you're like, I need to get rid of this. This thing sucks. Please open up the back and monkey around with it. And those few that reached out to me, of course, that's what I told them to do. They did it, and every single one of them has now had to go and eat some crow because the pedal is fantastic for what they're doing. But again, that's what I'm here for, man. I'm here just to go, you know what? Aeris Effects is awesome. And if you don't think they are, maybe it's because you're not using it right. Not as an insult, but to show you that, you know, you can get around that horrible sounding pedal just by opening it up and changing the parameters on the inside. Okay? If anything, y'all should be mighty impressed because... 
not every company gives you that, all right? And Eris does almost 100% of the time. I'm trying to think right now if I have any pedals that don't have a trim pot in them. And I can't think of any that I have that don't have a trim pot. He's, he's sneaky like that. He gives you no instructions on how to use the fucking thing. There's no, <laughs> no product demos showing this stuff. It's kind of, if you know, you know. And um, for now on, when I do my Aeris FX pedals, I'm going to try to be more cognizant of the fact that not everybody knows about the trim pots and to open up every single one of them and do what I did with this video, turning around, show what happens when you play around with the trim pots. Anyhow, you here? Please subscribe to my shit. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, all that happy shit. Truck driver Sean, easy as fuck to find. Look for a fat guy that looks like he likes Doritos way more than he should. Actually, it's not Doritos, it's Cheetos. But right now, there is smart food that is made with Doritos. And <clears throat> oh boy, that's a problem. All right, my fat ass will see you in another video. Later.